Hello, Susan Duclo from Before It's News and Wake Up America. Just ran into a very interesting article on life science on why Halley's Comet may be linked to famine 1500 years ago. It starts off saying the ancients had ample reason to view comets as harbingers of doom, it would appear. It seems a piece of the famous Halley's Comet likely slammed into Earth in A.D. 536, blasting so much dust into the atmosphere that the planet cooled considerably, according to a new study. This dramatic climate shift is linked to the drought and famine around the world, which may have made humanity more susceptible to Justinian's plague in A.D. 541-542, the first recorded emergence of the Black Death in Europe. New results come from an analysis of Greenland ice that was laid down between A.D. 533 and 540. The ice cores record large amounts of atmospheric dust during this seven-year period, and not all of it originated on Earth. I have all these extraterrestrial stuff in my ice core, study leader Dallas Abbott of Columbia University's Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory told Life Science here last week, the annual meeting of the American Geophysical Union. Certain characteristics such as high levels of tin identify a comet as the origin of the alien dust, Abbott said. And the stuff was deposited during the Northern Hemisphere spring, suggesting that it came from an aquarid meteor shower, material shed by Halley's Comet that Earth plows through every April and May. I'll go ahead and put a link to this um, in the video and in the article associated with the video. But it does go on, it, it does explain why ancients, ancient images, all show comets and as nasa's page itself says the comets have inspired dread fear and awe in many different cultures and societies around the world and throughout time now if you look at this one it says types of the commentary forms illustrations from johansa hevelius and clicking it you can see how they showed it then you have this image, which is a woodcut showing destructive influence of fourth century comet. Then this one, oh, let's show you this big. There you go with your comet. And the next one is an illustration that shows the view of Augsburg, Germany with the comets of 1680, 1682, and 1683 in the sky. A, B, and C. And then they show this one, which they say the uh, Malwengdui silk, a textbook commentary forms and the various disasters associated with them was compiled sometime around 300 BC. And you can take a look at this. That's just a small sample of the ancient. If you look here, you'll see ancient image images, comets. That's the keyword search I used. And you can see there are a lot more. Now, there's a reason people are fascinated with comets. They've seen them throughout history. And if what this new live science story suggests is true, then they pretty much have more proof that famine and destruction, annihilation, have come from comets. So when people are fascinated, and when people talk about them, when people watch them, when people harp on them, you could say, there's a good reason. They've done it throughout history. All the links will be provided below. Have a good day. Thank you for listening.